We'll have a go at drawing that sling puck game now. So we'll create new. I haven't used SketchUp for a while, but so make sure you get millimetres. Remove her. Now I'm going to draw one of the side pieces first. Now you notice the menus changed here too. I used to have those bits that dropped out here, but that's all down the bottom now. So once you click in there, like circle, polygon, all those ones that used to pop out from the side, they're gone. Okay, so I'm going to start with a rectangle. And I want to put it in that position. So I have a look at the bottom down here. See the little little numbers first. So I'm going to put in 12, comma, 600. All right, so that's our first piece there. That's going to be one of the sides. Zoom in nice and close. Push, pull. And it's going to be up 30. Okay. And we'll just orbit that around a little so I can see it a bit better. Okay. Now we're going to have little rebate joints in it, so I'm going to get my pencil, come here, and the timber's 12 thick, so I'm going to draw that way 12, and across that way. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do the same at the other end. I'll do them all together. So midpoint, 12, into there. And there's going to be one in the middle as well. So this time I'm going to come here with the pencil, hover about until I find the midpoint. There it is. Now I know that doesn't look midpoint in that position, but if I orbit that around, and get the pencil tool. Okay, so there it is. It was because of the perspective that it was in. But I do want to be orbited around a little bit. I just didn't want you to freak out when you saw that there. Okay, so I'll get the pencil. I'm going to hover, find the midpoint, and I'm going to zoom in closer. This time I'm going to draw there, come in six again. So six, enter that. And this time I'm going to come this way six. And I'll just escape from that, get that again, and this time bring it back six again. Six, enter. Now the reason I did that was um, I let the computer find the middle rather than having to work out exactly how far away it was, it was from the edge. So that's been centred now. Now I might, you don't have to do this, you could have just pushed them both out, but I'll get rid of that. Push that down. Push that one down. And the same on that end. Just push it down, touch the bottom edge, and it'll snap off in the right direction. Now the only th other thing we need to do is have the little hole for the um, for the little bungee cord to go in. So I'm going to come down the bottom, get the pencil, and I'm going to bring that back. I want it to be, so I might do it on the other side, I'll turn it around, because I want it to be 50 from the end. So I'll turn it around this way this time, and get the pencil, and I want it to be, yep, 50 from the end, so I'll bring it in 50. There's that midpoint. Now I'm going to bring that up 10. And then I want to draw a circle there. So I will come over to here, get the circle, and draw the circle. Now it's radius, so I want it to be radius 3. So I type in 3 and enter. There's that. Push pull. And go back and then touch that edge there. Remember, you've got to touch the back edge. Your other option is to type in 12. Now, just to keep it nice and tidy, I might get rid of that and that line. And if we orbit around, just double check that. Yeah, you can see the hole goes right through. And then we need to do the same thing from this end. So, pencil 50. Bring it up 10. Get the circle. Radius 3. And then push it out. And I'll just get rid of those couple of lines again. Okay. Now I need... What I might do, I might make a, I'll select the whole thing. 
double click on it and you know how we've used made group before I'm going to just to show you something different I'm going to say make component and I'm going to call it side and say OK now we need to have one on the other side so what I'm going to do is get get the move tool and you remember as you move it if you touch your option button it'll make a copy on your Mac if you don't have a Mac I think it's the bottom left hand corner all right so now that I've got that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just scale it so I'm just going to find that Ooh, can't see it oh no it's still there all right okay that's on the okay leave that I'll stop cancel Sorry, this is taking a while. Okay. Now while I've got that, I'm going to get this one, which is the scale tool. Now you just need to use the middle handle, create that middle handle, and push it through the other way and type in minus one. Now if I select outside, you can see now. Okay, so there's the, the, the holes and the rebates drawn. drawn. Now. Rectangle tool again. This time I'll come out this way. I want it to be the big number first. This time it's going to be 288. And the 288 comes from, see the box is going to be 600 by 300 when it's finished. But because that fits in that rebate, it's 300 minus 12. So the total will be 300, but this length needs to be 288. And now that I've been talking about that, I wonder if it's going to work for me. 288, comma, 12, oh yeah, good, and then bring that up 30. Now, that's all that happens with that piece, so what I'm going to do is, um, actually before I do, I will make one copy of it, so I'll move that one across a little bit, put one there. While that one's selected, I will double click on that make a component and this one I'll call the end okay and with this one this is going to be the one that goes across the middle so it'll be similar to when we did the rebates before I'm going to get the pencil I'm going to bring it down here find the midpoint I'm going to bring it up 15 now so that I can center it. Now I'm going to bring it this way, 30. Enter there. Escape. And then come back this way, 30. And bring that down. Bring that down. And then push that out. I'll just do them individually. So push that bit out. And then push that bit out. Zoom out a little bit. Orbit around so I can select that whole thing. See how it's touching, touching the other one? I don't want that, so I'll need to orbit that a little bit further. Try again. Okay, now I should be able to select it this time, that whole thing. Double click, make a component, and I will call this one maybe cross goal. Okay. Oops, sorry. Now orbit it around I'll just move that away a little okay now I'm going to push get the move tool deselect that one move and I'll move this one I'll put the goal in place first so I'll click that there and see I've got the corner and I'm going to come in and zoom in nice and close and I've got that corner selected so I want that to snap on that corner that's there now I will select this one from that point and bring that in to snap onto that point from that point it's got to be the oh, it doesn't matter the inside or the outside point but I'll, I've got the inside one that'll snap on there and we need to make another one of those so with that one get the move tool and I'll make a copy of it just put it over there for now I mean I could have put it straight in but Put that there, 
move tool just be careful if that protractor comes up don't click it'll start rotating so we just want that red cross and I've taken the outside piece this time so that's going to snap into there okay now I'm going to draw a base so that needs to be and if you look at the bottom it's got down here 272 551 I want it to be in that direction and rather than having to rotate things later so I'm going to type in 300 comma 600 and then it will draw it in the right direction that I want push pull where is it okay push pull up three and I'm gonna to have to make a group of that so I'll just orbit that around so I can just select that piece okay that'll do it double click on it make component this will be the base okay now I'll put that into place so move tool I'll make sure I get the top point yep top one and that's it there snaps onto that one now that all that's together remember we've been using um group always before I think I've been using it I just always started with group but component is actually a better one to use for this sort of thing you can draw your separate components but anyway what I'm going to do now is select the whole thing and make all that a group okay so that's my thing done the only other thing we will be drawing and you can do this just to make it look real I mean if you I won't do it but if you want to try and draw a little line across between the things so it looks like the plastic sorry looks like the elastic you can just actually I will draw one it's just going to be I'll put it in that direction whoops sorry orbit that direction I'm going to zoom in nice and close draw a circle now that's going to draw it on the ground what I'll do I'll come to here go to the side view not that one that one because that's where I want the circle now I'm going to draw a circle there okay I'll just get rid of that last one okay I'll draw a circle there and I want it to be radius 3 same size as the hole so 3 enter zoom in nice and close and now I'm going to push pull that and I want it to, I want that to be 300 long so 300 make a component I'll call this the bungee because that's a cool name and we need two of them so move option there now this is going to be a little bit it's not hard but it's, it's a bit tricky sometimes moving these so I'll, I'll deselect move and when you select you want to try and get the very top point see right that one right there so I'll click that one now I want to come into here and same deal I want to try and get that exact top one that looks pretty good there out there orbit around so see that's got that in even though it's not elastic but that'll be our secret now do I draw two yep okay so move this one a bit closer zoom in get the very top point I mean you could get the bottom or the side it doesn't have to be the top but you gotta pick something haven't you Ooh. Okay, click. Zoom out. All of it. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm going to have to, I'll do a do regroup, do another group of that again now that that's in there. So make a group of that so it all stays together. And the last thing, I'm going to go to the top view, draw a circle. Now, I'm going to make that radius 15. Now, when you make these, when you make your own, you can work out what size you want for these discs yourself. But if I start with that, I'll orbit that around a bit and bring it up, say, 12 
there. Make component. So we'll call it say disk. Okay. Now I'm going to make a number of copies of that. So I might go move. And now I'm going to put one next to it. There, put one side but that way. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have maybe five for each team, so I'll go move again, option, bring that across. No, I'll escape. Get rid of that last one. What I'm going to do is come to over here, because I want these discs to be different colours. So I might go to here. Get wood, and I'll make one sort of that colour, and then one that colour. Close that. Now I'm going to select that one. Move option there. Now here's a bit of a trick. If I now go tab, type X and if you see down here it's got the X popped up there and if I go times 4 I'll go 4 enter and see it does gives me the it draw 4 for me so I'm going to do the same thing down here I will go collect it move option put one there tab times 4 enter now I'm going to come to the top view, not the front view. Oh, there they are, there, runner. I lost them for a minute. This is a bit tricky here. This is, um, what I want to do is select one set. And move them into one side now they may not be sitting on the, the um, actual piece there but we can fiddle with that later on that's going to be close so if you put it in then if you put it in the front view go to t two dimensional view which is this one not two dimensional it's um parallel projection. Then, if you go to your styles, we'll get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, here they are. Put it in the x-ray then we should be able to move them just slide them up so they're sitting on the floor on the plywood so that needs to go down to there not perfect but close enough it's a bit hard to select it while you got that other piece in front of it but anyway look i'll leave it at that you can fiddle with those bits yourself to get them right if we go back to our normal view so the isometric view okay we can, so you can make timber out of that i'll go back to one of the standard views so it's not and we can make these timber that timber Fiddle those, you know, obviously you don't have it so it's stuck into the side like that, but you know, you can fix that up. I'll get rid of that one and get rid of that one because that looks silly. But you can fiddle with those, put them where you want, just so it looks like it's the um, the game. Okay, I might leave it at that for now. So good luck, everyone.